nearly crashed a push bike. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Stupid Things on a Tuesday. Indeed. Forks are bouncy. Compression. Have an engine, that one. My compression is too fast. Out. Squeaky brakes. So, what's going on, Davla? You're late. I am late. I've had car problems. We're closer to uh, video going upload time than we are to start of the day. It'll be fine. Right, smash through the intro and we'll see what crap we got lying around here. Let's do it. <laughs> We're back. We are back. Where have we been? I don't know. From over there. Yeah, a long way. Yeah, I know. The joys, the magic of YouTube, isn't Indeed. it? So, what have we got out here? Uh, ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Lambo, we fixed a latch and a ram's got a sensor problem. And uh, yeah. I've got, I hope he doesn't watch this because I've got email him and let him know. But the new rams with the sensors come as a complete hydraulic unit or a complete hydraulic set and it's six and a half grand. What? Yep. Lambo tax. Don't buy a Gallardo Spider is how what they say there. Um, fixed. It's going Thursday. Gallardo behind you, uh, Hurricane behind you is fixed. Um, this one is a rot box. Literally, this is the leaky one. So we have stripped it. And I don't know whether you can see, can you see the green on the connectors? Down, can you go a bit on them red, blue and... Is it open? Hang on. No, it is locked. So we've got some power in it. Yeah, mate. Look there. Zoom in on them connectors. I can't go any further. What? What sort of camera don't zoom, Dav? My lens is too short. Uh, uh, green. Yeah. Uh, full of water. Uh, the interface module is full of water. The seat wiring that side is rotten. The parking sensor module that side oh is dust. Life. So at the minute, it's just everything's drying. There's no point until we can... I'm not making them boys sit in a puddle of water to work. So yeah. that's fine. Skoda, done. That's got to go. Nice. Uh, just needs a wash because the birds like it. Yeah. Um, mm, the clutch is arrived for Allen's. I'll open the box up in a minute. That's this OMG. <sighs> what else? Uh, lens is done. We're just trying to prove the gearbox fault. The diff has arrived for VDE. Um, APP is done, ready to go back. The Gallardo is done, ready to go back, but that is going to Evo magazine on Monday because uh, Dickie wants to drive it, Richard Meaden. Very cool. Um, M1 GKO uh, was in for Lowering Springs and we found his dampers are knackered, so he wants to convert his dampers. So they've just arrived. This arrived today, which is a really nice color, actually. I like it. It is a nice color. Uh, that's got engine faults. The twin turbo has had a gearbox pump, has behaved itself, so Simon's coming for that tomorrow. And GAU was on its way down for an MOT and a steering hose burst. Oh. So we got all of that, but that was done. I was supposed to be going back tomorrow. So, anyway, let's, let's uh, soldier on. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's take some positives out what of this. What is a depressing word for a Tuesday? We shouldn't call it a Tuesday update now. We should call it a whinging wednesday or something i don't know yeah, sounds like fun. tumultuous tuesday put a funny word in the comments we'll Let's figure know. that out oh mate honestly yeah honestly yeah yeah yeah. like even that one supposed to be going tomorrow yeah. spoke to mark mate cars mints going down for mt we yeah. just saw the handbrake because they'd failed it on handbrake they're being picky bastards um so we sorted it, it one one basically so one side passes by one percent and the other side fails by one percent but they're like oh it's an imbalance across a fail line it's ridiculous. If I park it on that slope and pull the handbrake on, it works. Yeah. And just being an assholes. Any, so, any progress with the Golf and the TT? Uh, if you watch Friday's video, there was. Um, yes, I've got more stuff to do, but I think, because it's late today, we're not going to do that today, are we? Yep. So by Friday, there'll be more done. I don't know how much more. Yep, um, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll have stuff done. Uh, TTRS block has arrived. I just haven't okay. called it off from TPS yet. Uh, what else is here? Um, we'll do an unboxing in a minute. Um, still trying to sort out the ECUs on that one. 
a tale of woe. I won't go into it, yeah. but we've had to change one and we're trying to save the other one by copying the firmware and flashing it over and messing around with that, but that's just being a nightmare. Oh, school was easier, wasn't it? Do you remember when you were at school and you were like, I can't wait to leave school? Now, what I'd give to go back to school? Mate, I keep telling the kids that and they're like, yeah, yeah I hate school. So, um, it's not Tweedledum and Tweedledee anymore, is it? We need a free, free Stooges, does that yeah. work? Three Amigos. Well, there's only one miserable one over there, so. Hey. <laughs> Should we have a little look? Yeah. They're putting a gearbox in. It's a three-way going on. Wee. And Matt's in the middle. Are you ready for me? Best right? <laughs> so, um, Paul wants to service that before he has it back. It's due, it's service in November, but I've just said to him, we may as well do it now. Yeah. Do the MOT. It has brought it forward early, but there's no point in coming back in November then. So we'll do that now. That's fine. I can go for MOT. Uh, Carl's has had oil pumps, sorry, oil pump seals, uh, oil pipes, uh, exhaust tips, um, a door lock, and he wants to do a transmission service. So just a little bit of TLC on that one. Lovely. So that's okay. We're just waiting for the last oil pipe in the morning. Uh, Jordan's got an SL55 in, and the guy is stiff. That was a funny number plate. That is pretty, pretty baller. That. Pretty. pretty yeah. Cool, yeah. Yeah. He has a M2CS in the bay at the minute. He had a Lotus go this morning, um, but he's on daddy daycare at the minute. So uh, Juden is not here. Look at the M2 through there quickly, through the curtains. Proper one as well, CS mate. Oh, hang on, I can't see that. We change your lightings. Look. Did you put light on? Oh, go on then. Lighting's going to be wrong now. Oh, there she blows. Sorry, George, we stole content. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Lovely. I'm not a BM kind of guy, but I can appreciate that. Carbon. It's got seats as well. Has this one got the seats? I think it has. Oh no, it hasn't. No? No. So Not the, we call them the Dale seats here. Ah, the auto works. Yeah. Posh seats. Yeah. It's been day. Dale could have an M1, M1 20 diesel and it'd still have fucking comp seats in it. Comp seats and yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's all right. Um, Closey, closey door. The there we go. And you can see it's prop on because it's got vented. Vents. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. I shall turn off to light. Oh, uh, we've gone dark. Uh, You're in silhouette now. Um, yeah. And that's, quickly, it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, that is pretty trick. And that is cool. Carl's bag, isn't it? The old Mercedes. Uh... Yeah, Carl will be all over this. The only thing better than a good car is a Honda, according to Carl. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, we've got some Dodson boxes to open. Okay. Uh, and the old girl's back from Cadwell. Ah. Season over, done. Look at that. So, tell me. Yeah. What went on? Uh, finished second in 600 and second in the open. Fair play. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Saturday was hard work. Yeah. Yeah, mate, it was like 44 degree ta track temp and it was like 30 odd degrees on the bike, uh, air ambient. So that was hard work. Sunday was a little bit cooler, um, but Georgie boy pretty much got the job done Sunday morning. Um, so it was me and him fighting. Uh, so he, what did he do in the 600s? There was Jimmy Hind was there, who's a TT lad. Um, Lyndon Leveland, who's a stock 600 lad. And John Marsh, who's a TT, I think he's a Manx lad or TT lad as well. So there's five of us. Uh, no one touched Jimmy, he was gone. Yep. I think he was banging in like 32s. 32s, yeah, he was silly. 32s, 33s on 600. Do you want to turn around that way? Yeah, why not? Um, 
so I think, I think, I think Jimmy got pole, George got second, I got third in qualifying, and then it went for the race, and um, they just went off up the road. I couldn't keep them. Yep. I think George got second, uh, and I think I was fifth. So I think it was Jimmy, George, Lyndon, John, then me. Sunday morning, I had a shit start, and I got caught behind another lad, and I just didn't. That's where I'm missing that little bit extra. I just need to make the pass because yeah. I had the pace. I did like low 34s and I had the pace to go with the other two. Um, but I let the start of the race dictate the rest of my race, if that makes sense. Yeah. I didn't sort of get my elbows out almost. Um, I didn't have a great start and then I just got caught behind it. And I, It's so hard to pass around there because it's so narrow yeah. that when you're like stuck behind someone half a second, three quarters of a second slower than what you can do. It's hard to pass them. And I should just got my elbows out, mate. But, ah, oh well, is what it is. That's what I need to improve on. That's what I need to work on. But, um, George come out of last corner in second and his bike dropped a valve. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he crossed the line fourth. So wow. he outscored me, which that was Sunday morning, which got him the, which clinched him the championship. Yeah. And then he couldn't make the afternoon race. Oh. So if I'd outscored him, I would have, out, I would have had to have outscored him by six. But like if he, D, if he DNF that race, yeah. he wasn't lining up for the afternoon race, it would have gone the other way. Um, but that wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been happy with that. That's not how That's I, not, yeah. no, 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 no. Mate, he's it, kicked my ass all year. Yeah. So if I'm going to, if I want to win, I got to beat him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it, that's, it was unfortunate. Like I said to him, for as bad as it went for him, it couldn't have gone any better because the way it dropped the valve, it has damaged the engine, but it's not, I've seen engines cutting off, mate. Yeah. The valve's jammed the piston, it snapped the rod and it's cut the engine off. Yeah. So he still managed to get the job done in the championship. He broke his engine, but not as bad as, if that was me, I'd have been fucking in two halves, mate. Yeah, do, you, yeah. do you know what I mean? Uh, my luck. So for as bad as it went, it couldn't have got any better. He won a championship, mate. He's a miserable bastard. Uh, give and a that, shout out. Oh, we'll, mate. We'll, we'll drop his... So um, George Edwards... He's Insta in there. What is he? I'll drop it in. Drop it in. George, if you get sponsorship off this, mate, I want half. <laughs> Kid's ca kid can ride a bike. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's never ridden a thousand, yeah. right? I think he did a 34... I think he did a low, like a 34.1 or 34.2 and a 600, and I did a 34.5 or 34.4, right? He, so he's going to a big bike next year. He's got on a Honda. He went out on it, mate, and he did a 32.3. Oh. First time he, like, yeah. not first time. He rode it on a test day, and then he raced it. I think he, what did he, I think he came second. Oh, I'll have to double check. He either won or came second in the open. Yeah. Was something he was he was off the, mate he was amazing he was mega on it um and he'd never ridden a big bike before like he wouldn't have been last in stock thousands wow so are you back next year if kate says i can okay if kate says i can i want to yeah i yeah. want to yeah yeah, yeah yeah apart from donington was the fastest i've ever gone uh brands wasn't so i go faster at brands i've been faster at coombe Don in turn, I'd done a 10.7, which would have been in the points at Supersport. Where else did we go? Pembury was the fastest I've ever gone. Um, Anglesey? Anglesey, Anglesey wasn't, but by the skit, I had done a low nine at Anglesey on a big bike, and I'd done a 10.008 on a 600. Um, and then Cadwell, I went faster 14 years ago on a 600, but I was 14 years younger. Yeah. Like, I'm hopefully next year what? yeah 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 and like george is 27 give him so much rubbish but cool. yeah that, it, it was a good weekend callum come up with a marshal on a friday so a mate of ours bill so thank you bill uh brought him up on friday because he had college yeah so he got to be up there as well and then sunday it last race mate it absolutely pissed it down so for the open then i went out so i won the last race of the season yeah so nice. but it was an ice rink 
It was a oh, you proper. Like it wet. <laughs> I come, I come out of, um, I come out of. Uh, so I went. They give us two warm-up laps. So I went off on the warm-up laps, and Lee Davies bless him, came over to me, and he sort of said in the warm-up, he goes, "No, just go steady," because the warm-up lap, mate, I was gone. It felt all right. Yeah. And then I come round, I come round the first lap. I think I put like two and a half seconds into in the first lap. And I come out of old hairpin to go under trees, and it literally went rap. Uh, mate, I was looking down at the bike, and I landed back on it. Yeah. And then I just caught like, and then got going again. Well, anyway, um, his name's Dave Houston. He runs another YouTube channel called Obsession Motorsport. After we'll have to double check. Yeah. But basically, he's the lad that built Franco Born's stock thousand bike, cool. and he was behind me. And he said, oh, when you had that moment, my eyes lit up. I thought I was on for a win there. <laughs> and then just, yeah, but it was so, they had classic bikes there, classic cars there in the week and everything blew up. Mate, the cem there was a cement line all the way around the track, wow. right? So you're going around Chris's curves, you're going around Chris's curves. And if a bike's in front of you, it's just throwing dust, cement dust at you. Yeah. Well, anyway, it rains. The front of my bike and the front of my visor is covered in sludge. Yeah. When my own front wheel was throwing this cement dust crap up at me. So the thing is filthy. Like, look at it. Look at it, mate. The condition of the track was shocking. Was shocking. I imagine that's quite dangerous as well. Uh, that, was, that was loose. It was harder to do. The lap times we were doing were rubbish in the rain. And that was harder than doing 14s at Coombe in the rain. There was no, no feel on the tire at all. You just like, Ooh. Yeah. but that's all right. So yeah, got late back Sunday. So yeah, it's all right, season done. So that is, so Dan Cooper looks after me. So he's old TT lad. He's the one of the pictures in my office. So me, George, and a lad called Mikey Reese who races at the Manx, Welsh lad, we all ride for him. So with one, two and three and 600s, and then me and George are first and second in the open. And that's the first time 600s have ever come first and second in the Open. Fair play. Yeah. And it shows the calibre of George. Only two other lads have ever won the Open Championship on a little bike. Josh Day, four times British, super bike, four times British champion. So he's won stock 600s and Ducatis and all sorts. And Dan Cooper, who's won at TT, won at the Manx, won at Northwest. Like, that's the level he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... It's just a shame he's a miserable tight bastard. <laughs> Honestly, mate. So well, say what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boy is so tight, he wouldn't give a door a bang. <laughs> mate, honestly, he's gonna be laughing at this. Taking missus out for an anniversary dinner, you tight sod. <laughs> he goes racing, mate. Is there an anniversary on Saturday? Yeah. One year anniversary. Yeah, he's holding my hand racing. So Beth had to go with her boyfriend. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I know, anyway, so. Engine corner, anything going on? No. Right, ignore that. We will be, yeah. but... Friday. Friday, for okay. Friday's video. You're going to have some editing fun. I am. Um, so that's all right. Uh, that is about it, I think. Should we go and unbox some Dodds and stuff? Why not? Let's do right, it. I'll meet you in the engine room and I'll get okay. my knife. Right, Davla. What have we got here, mate? Looks exciting. Hmm. I can injure myself now. There's no season to think of, so I can cut myself on a staple. That's it. Right. Cut the cuts. Yeah. So this is Alan's clutch for the OMG car. So we got separator springs, small clutch plates. So they give you stack height, what they measure out to, yep. and what the clearance is. Big clutch plates and. There. There's two baskets. Oh, I thought it was going to be hard and break that in my fingers. Bring! Musical, too. I know. Get rid of that. There you go. So, that is some Pro Max goodness. So, we will. I'll open the plates up and I'll put them in a baking tray uh, and soak them. So normally like soak them for a day or so. And that's when they're brand new as well? Yeah, when they're brand new. Yeah, so they absorb the fluid 
and then you can recheck all your clearances then as well. So that is what you should do. It's like what you should do with a motorbike clutch as well. Yeah. So then some extra bits. So we have got a, a billet diff cover. Billet. I know. It's nice as well. It's black. Yeah. Fancy. Um, what have we got here? And... Ah, yeah, so that is for... Which one is that? I'll have a think. I know what that is. That's for pressing a bearing out of what case? That is a tool I ordered. I'll have a look. Tool to add to the the I know. Collection. I know. Uh, right. I've shown you these before, but this is because I used one. So this is just stock coming back in. That's the pinion nut upgrade. Yeah. So we don't reuse the circlet. Uh, we don't reuse the crush nut. We always reuse these. So that's mechanical circlip. And I've got another one here somewhere. Circlip. Oh no, I was out. Right, that goes on there. What have we got here? There we go. Patience. So this is, yeah. Uh, main shaft circlip. Ah, this is what I was going to show you. So instead of having just a little circlip around the shaft, yeah, you put this around the shaft in a circlip groove, yeah? Yeah. Then you... Put this collar over the top. Yeah. Like a so. Yeah? Then you put the circlip over the top and then the two screws go in the holes through the circlet, so it stops the circlet backing out off the shaft. Yeah. Yeah? So that's what that is. So we offer two versions of that. We offer one for an upgraded second, and we offer one for an OE shaft. So this is uh, OE replacement, and that's what I wanted. 5151 is that one. Um, Lambo gear set, mechanical circlip. So that's a replacement of that one. Yeah. And then I've got two that do um, the upgraded, the, uh, the upgrade for the shaft kit. So I've got two of each. That's what I ordered everything for. Makes sense? Very nice. Very good, very nice. Right. Hopefully this isn't damaged because that box has taken a pound in. This is upgraded second. Second is the one that takes Second the is the one that always breaks. Yeah. So we'll just make sure. Yeah, this is kind of like your entry level for, for gears, for upgraded gears. Let me just make sure it's not damaged in a minute. Because you can see that the boxes had a bit of a fight. Or something. Had fun. That's okay. There's no marks. It's all good. I think go back in the box. So I've got a second gear. So this is all this more to do with our upgrade program that we've been chatting about and did our video on. Yeah. Uh, this is another bolt kit. So this is the I'm sure I should just this is the five shaft kit or the five bolt kit. The end the bolts that go on the end of the shafts. Not the case bolts, but these bolts. Yeah, sure. I think we spoke about them, didn't yeah. we? So I've got another set of those. So I basically doubled up on everything to make sure I had I had two of everything. 7357. So we can do an inventory. This is a plus ring and pinion set. So we put quite a bit of money on the shelf. Yeah. So you think there, that's a, stuff, that's a full it? gear kit. Um, I wouldn't keep a clutch in stock because I can get them so quick, but also different people want different clutches. Yeah. So there's no point trying to keep every clutch in stock. Um, so, bearing. 
pinion, and a ring gear. Ooh. Yes, and this is plus, so non plus is different sizes. Yeah. So we've got them sat ready to that sat ready to go. Oh no, now I can't get it back in the box. There we go. And the last one, the last box is going to be a billet sump pan. Nice. Which is. Seen one of these no, no. There we go. Oh, yes. So this replaces the standard sump. Lovely. Yeah. Because the standard sump is plastic. So yeah, nice little piece that. So again, apart from clutches, I've pretty much got one of everything in stock. Um, and then that's just my new special tool. I thought, I'm gonna have to make one. I thought it was a clutch press tool. But so are you covered now for most mm. re requests? If somebody wants to build some. Yeah, I know what that is. That's in drag car. Yep. You ready to go? So we've got gear kit, yeah. uh, operated filters, yeah. titanium bolt kit, titanium shaft bolt kit. Um, I've got case plugs. I've got mechanical circlips. I've got second gear. I've got pinion nuts. I've got uh, diff cover, sump. I need to order a diff. I may as well carry a diff in stock because, you know, for shits and gigs. And that's uh, wave track. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I use Wade Track one. So yeah, we've got one of everything, mate. Like I said, the only thing I haven't got in stock is a full Dodson clutch, um, but I can get them quick enough. So what's the it's what's the point? The the yeah, they don't they don't they don't seem to struggle with stock of those. Yeah. It's the gear sh kits and stuff like that they struggle or, or everybody wants. Yeah. So yeah. Good stuff. Not so, a bad way to open twenty grand's worth of bits, oh, is it, mate? Oh, oh, oh. I was gonna say. Let people guess what it costs, but... Mm. Um, All right, um, I didn't say 20 grand. Have a guess what it costs. <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so. I'm going to be a busy boy photographing all this then before it goes on stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah. To be quick. So it'll be all right. We'll get it sorted. Yeah. But yeah, that's the head for the golf then. So later in a week, we'll get that on. So yeah, we're doing all right, mate. We're doing all right. Lovely. We're getting there. That's not a bad update. Need to have a bit of a tidy up now. So. Okay, good I'll stuff. crack on with that and right. we'll see it for a week. I'll see it for a winter. Yeah. Catch up again on See you Friday. Friday. I'm going to go and cause some trouble somewhere. Nice. Put kettle on. We do yeah. that. See you in a bit. Later. Bye. Bye.